After arrest and before trial comes jail. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. We're here at the Salt Lake County Metropolitan Jail. I wanted to get into law enforcement. Um, I put myself through the academy and I got hired on with the jail with the intention of just working at the jail for a couple of years. But once I got into the jail, I found I really liked it. There were a lot of opportunities here. I like the organization and I like being in a controlled environment where I know what's going on. Um, and that's what's kept me here inside of the jail. I'm a superstar. You better get out of here. Okay. Glenn, remember what I said. You don't want to come in here. And don't me. say my name, dude. All right, man. It's your charges. Go ahead, dude. I didn't do anything. We've got one of our prisoners out in the intake area. He's handcuffed to our intake bench waiting to be searched. And he started pulling against the handcuffs. He's starting to injure his wrists. So if he doesn't stop, we're going to have to restrain him further in order to prevent him from injuring himself. What we'll do is we'll put him in what we call the bodyguard restraint system, which will restrict his movement, and prevent him from being able to hurt himself. Glenn, stop. Hey, uh, why don't you back up before Glenn, I hurt you? Stop it. Let's, uh, Let's get him on the phone. Why don't you all get away from me? Stop moving. Stop moving. I'm not going to touch you guys. I'm just going to stop moving. You don't need to knock yourself out. You guys will do it for you. Okay, let's take him forward and then we'll convert the cuffs. Yeah, I'll convert them, whatever you want. Take down on your stomach. On your stomach. Take down on your stomach. Whoa, let me get to my knees, please. Kneel down. Okay. There you go. Please. Will you do me a favor and take this bag off my head before I freak out? Please. Let's turn her. You go. Take this bag off my head before I freak out. I can't handle this. No, I can't handle this bag on my head. Take it off. Stay still. Please take it off. Please, that's all I want. You're talking, you're fine. You're talking, oh, you're fine. Fine. Please Stop take moving. the bag off. Glenn. I can't see. Leg wraps coming in from okay. this side. Don't, don't. Get his legs together and secure. Dude, don't do that. Hey, the one who's had him touch him, please don't pull that hurt. Oh. oh, there's a lot of evil guys over here. Okay, chest harness. Oh God, can I, can I move my feet like this? I'm so sorry, you guys. Pick him up. Uh, I'm and everything. Let's oh. take him to P2. Turner, grab the camera. Pull the gurney out, drop him up in the back corner, we'll just leave him until he's done trying to hurt I'm sorry, Glenn. I do More in the corner? I don't know. Yeah, sit him in the corner. There we go. Let's leave him there. My back hurts. My back's sore. Glenn will check you out once you calm down a little bit. We ended up putting him into the bodyguard restraint system. He pulled his legs through the handcuffs while he was sitting on the bench, and he was attempting to bite himself and injure himself some more. This is a safe way to do it. Bodyguard restraint system, it keeps them in a sitting position where they can breathe. We'll follow up with him, see if we can get him to calm down, make sure he's safe, and then we'll give him a chance to sober up and finish processing him. Hey, There's your cuffs it. back. Um, can you tell me a little bit I didn't see what this guy was brought in on. What was his deal? Why did we bring him in? He was brought on public intoxication and trespassing. He walked into someone else's house, was drunk, and uh, they asked him to leave. He left, came back, and was fighting. Uh, so when we got there, 
he was pretty belligerent, uh, yelling at us. Put him in cuffs, put him in the back seat, and he was hitting his head on the on the door. So I put him in his seat belt, and he was trying to choke himself out. You know, a lot of crazy stuff like okay. that. Okay. Well, thank you. No you guys problem. have a safe night, yeah. and we'll take care of him. Thanks. Take care. We're going to go talk to Glenn, see if we can get him to calm down, maybe take the bodyguard off of him. And he'll be able to calm down a little better than what he's doing right now. Hey, Glenn? I've been locked up for six hours. Glenn. <laughs> Glenn. I can't move. If we take this. I can't breathe. I can't see. Okay, Glenn, if we take this off of you, will you calm down? And as long as I can see. If, if you start fighting with us, I'm going to leave you in this. No, sir. No, sir. As long okay, as I can relax. See. Let's get you out, okay? Can I roll? Just hang where you're at. We're going to leave the cuffs on for now, but let's take the bodyguard off. Let's start with the chest harness. I could really roll if I wanted to. Okay. Thank you so much. Behave yourself, all right? Yes, sir. Just calm down. Don't try to fight when we're taking this I off. I just got right? this face thing off. We'll take that off last. Take the leg wrap off. Roll into prone. Wow. Okay, Glenn, we're going to stand you up, then we'll take that off your head. Oh, you guys should have done that before you put me down. Did you get the cuff cork, Lloyd? I'm not walking into the wall. All right, Lloyd, just put your, keep your nose in that corner, all right? Yes, until, sir. Until yes, I sir. tell you to back up. Yes, sir. All right? We successfully got him out, out of the bodyguard restraint. It just seemed to be agitating him more than it was helping him to calm down. He was in the bodyguard restraint for a total of 34 minutes. To him, it felt like six hours, but it really wasn't very long at all. Um, Hopefully now, without the bodyguard restraint on, he'll be able to calm down a little bit and we'll be able to get him processed a little later. I've been with the county for two years to date. I can pretty much say I've seen it all here at Travis County, uh, anywhere from your Class C public intoxication charge to your felony murder charge. Uh, come back here, come back here. I think a good corrections officer have to have the, the type of personality that, really that doesn't really let things get to him. That's right. Texas law, lock them up no matter what, right? Stand up. All right, that's what I'm talking about. Give me the judge. You can let go of me. I ain't, I ain't fighting. Looks like we may have a possible combative, so I'm gonna go around here and check it out, see what's going on. No problem. You wanna look at my lip? You wanna look at my jaw? It might be broken. I went there to dance, I walked in the club, got hit. You can calm down. Please do not take that necklace. It is from my mother who died. I know, you she can get it back. She killed herself on Easter. You can get it back. You promise? I promise. Look. You can treat me like I'm some drunk belligerent, but your police hit me in my face when I didn't do nothing. All right, turn around, have a seat. Yeah. No problem, no problem. Look, I ain't. Look, here, you don't gotta grip me up all tight, I promise. I know you're good. Go, 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 go. Look, please, please, please. Just let me go and I'll sit down, I promise. Look, look, look. If you let me go, I'm just trying to guide you down. Go ahead, sit down. If you promise, look, look, I sit down, I promise. Look, I promise. I talked to somebody who's a supervisor or something. Just because look, I got stomped out in an alley and now I'm in jail. I just came to Austin two days ago. I went to Saturday night for the first time, had one drink and got stomped in the face. Dude hit me in the back of my head. I turned around, started fighting for my self-defense. Bang, I got arrested. How did I get arrested for defending myself when I'm getting hit by three dudes? Come on, Matthew. Right. My left hand got my pants. One this way. All right. Have a seat in there. All right. Thank you. Hold on. Can I talk to a supervisor, please? You own the minute. Just give me a second. Oh, can you tell me what happened? He got in a, uh, a fight on 6th Street, right on 6th Street. Oh, okay. We just rounded the corner and two guys fighting on the sidewalk. Oh, okay. It was just one against one, one on one? Yep. Okay. Yeah, and uh, he was claiming there was two, and then he was claiming he got two. Yeah, because that's what he's saying in there. <laughs> so apparently, Mr. Uh, Matthew 
who came in straight from, uh, from intake, claiming that he was jumped by three guys. He's calming down now. He was arrested for a disorderly conduct fighting. And uh, that's all the charges he have at this time. What's up, man? Hey, I want to speak to a supervisor or something. What's wrong with you? Look, I'm in here for nothing. How am I going to get in trouble for getting beat up? Hey, let me show you, tell you how it works in here, though. Look, look, and you can handcuff me no, behind I don't my to, back. We don't need to I'll do all calm. that. But what I'm saying is how when the police run up on me and I'm getting my face stomped in I and know. I start defending myself, they put me in a cell. I have no idea what happened out there, man. I'm a booking officer. I work in here. Look, I understand that. Uh -huh. But what I'm saying is could I talk to somebody? Because, look, I done have my face you stomped You can when in. you get out of here, but right, right now... We're trying to get you out of here as fast as possible. How long does that take? It may be, it, it's going to be a while. Four to six hours, possibly. Four to six yes. hours? Four to six hours, oh, not four 46 to... hours. Oh, I don't care about that. Go ahead, close the door. I'll lay down and go to sleep. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I'll let so you know when they need you, man. Why would he grab you by the throat? He's not even the type to do something like that. I mean, what happened where he did that? Because he's not even the type that'll just grab somebody by the throat. He walked up to me, I went like this. He pushed me, I went like this. He grabbed me by my throat. And this is the outcome, man. You just gotta... No, it's not. Go ahead, sit down. So as it turns out, just when everything was clearing up for Mr. Matthew, he gets into a fight and uh, holds himself 516 with another inmate. The two were separated. Uh, he'll be in a cell probably until he's released. He'll be released in probably another hour or two. Will he, will he be given uh, a court date uh, probably Monday morning? I decided to become a corrections officer because it's a very challenging field to be in. It's very exciting. You never know what to expect from day to day. Sometimes inmates underestimate me because I am a female officer, but I go in setting the tone to let them know who's in charge. Okay, right now we're going in to the pre-book area with our medical staff to check on someone that looks like she needs to be seen before she's brought in this evening. They slammed my head into the floor for no reason. Uh, I happened to doze off with my two babies outside, mm -hmm. which I don't usually do. Mm -hmm. And they decided to take my kids. What they I said, charge you you, with, that doesn't charge you need to happen. You I've had them taken. You were outside. I was inside the you house. You were in a car wreck or anything? I was inside sleeping. As a matter of fact. Were you drinking or anything? Yeah, I have been drinking. I have been drinking, which I don't normally do. So, so where are you here? Is it I, just to not I hear wanted, on your I are you my, bleeding or anything? I feel like I am. I feel, I don't know. I feel half out of it. You're not bleeding anywhere else, though? I, I don't know. I don't think so. Did you take any meds while you were doing No. Nothing? No, I, will, I wouldn't do that. It's okay, because I'm going to sue the police department. It's all right. 
it's okay. Okay, so is she gonna go ahead and stay with us this evening? I don't. No. I, I don't feel like I need. I need. Too big. Yeah, because I don't know what's going on under there. She's going to be refused this evening for a head injury. They're going to take her to the local hospital, have her checked out, and then probably bring her back. We responded to her house. Uh, the call came out that two small children were out in the backyard, out in the cold, been banging on the door for hours. Uh, we arrived there. We are banging on the front door, banging on the front door, no answer. Finally, after approximately 15, 20 minutes banging on the door. She wakes up, comes to the door. We make entry into the house, open up the back door, kids come running in. It's a two-year-old and a three-year-old. So okay. the kids were in the backyard yeah. the whole time unattended. That's correct. So we took them into uh, to protective custody. Right. Once we informed her that we were going to do that, she says, you're not taking my kids, and continually fought with us. So the kids are safe at this point? Yes, they are. Good enough. Yeah, I know. How you doing, honey? You doing all right over there? Thanks for calling the cops on it. Yeah. Thanks for calling the cops. Now I bet you feel real stupid, don't you? Why are you gonna let me go to jail? The heads up. The daddy's out here, and this is Mama. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. The baby's mama and they've been in a little dispute evidently this evening, so. Okay. Hopefully we're gonna have to keep them separated. I see you on the other side, baby. Don't call me because I ain't getting you out. I'm sorry. She's being brought in this evening on intoxicated disorders. So what happened tonight? I was doing my baby's day. My husband my husband just died and I'm like freaking out. What happened to your neck? That bitch in there, that bitch right there, you show him, there he is. That b boy in the white, yeah. Who's that, the baby's daddy? Yeah. How old's the baby? She's two. <laughs> Where is she right now? <laughs> she with his other baby's mama. Well, that you left her house. Yeah, man, cause my stupid ass baby mama got me locked up tonight at my own house. Why is every other word a cuss word? Because I'm upset right now. I'm sorry, sir. I'm in jail. I think you'd be cussing too if you didn't work here. Okay. And you was here. You know what I'm saying? You might have a point. You know what I'm saying? Female's returned from the hospital, so we're going to go out here and get her checked in, see what's going on with her. What'd they tell you at the hospital? Uh, I had a head injury. So it looks like she's going to get charged with obstruction and resisting arrest, uh, both misdemeanor charges. So we're going to get her booked in here. She'll see us on the other side here shortly. individuals were brought in this evening. The male was brought here on domestic assault and battery, so he'll be spending the evening with us on a zero dollar bond. He'll have the opportunity to go to court for arraignment in the morning. And she'll probably get out tomorrow. She's here on a domestic intoxication charge. All right, come around here, open your mouth. Ah. Ah. Walk right through the metal detector. Right there on the back row. Remember what I said. Hey. Right. <laughs> no, but we, yeah, we made it last time we were in jail. So you two ladies know one another from here? From booking, yes. From, yes. from booking from right here? Yep. So last time you guys were here, you were both sitting right there in the same place. It's sure it was. And you, and you met each other? In right here. Right here. Where, wasn't it? Was it right here? It was right here. Well, I'm so thinking you two ladies need to meet maybe somewhere else in town. For real? <laughs> yeah, I definitely <laughs> would. 
Okay, well, I hope you two ladies take care of yourselves and get everything taken care of, okay? I should have got your name. Maybe we would have kept each other out of trouble. <laughs> Call For me real. up. <laughs> For real. All else comes out, at least they've made another friend here. And the doors open up and they leave me outside And they hand me my clothes and, and the key to my ride Now the night hits my face and it brings me to life Oh Lord, now I'm out that jail tonight Another night in my street, another night in my hair Now I'm kicking and tripping without the cops on my chair Now my hands on the wheel and my fingers grew tight I'm gonna go home to my family tonight I've been thinking about my home, I've been thinking about my needs I don't wanna be alone, I gotta get up And the doors open up and they leave me outside I'm gonna go home to my family tonight I've been thinking about my home, I've been thinking about my kids I don't wanna be alone, I gotta get up out of here